The latest sensation in food is all about African superfoods. What are African superfoods? They're super because they're rich in multivitamins, antioxidants and everything else to keep your body fit and healthy. Some have even taken superfoods to a new level. Today we talk to Antonia De Luca at the Leafy Greens Cafe and she's going to take you through a gastronomic taste sensation. So superfoods, the idea of superfoods is that they are foods that are highest in particular nutrient density of an entire group of foods. Moringa grows on a tree in um, southern Africa. It's a really small little leaf. The leaf is dried at low temperatures, usually in the sun. Then it's crushed up or, or put into a, for, um, a form that's very fine, like a powder. And then that moringa can be added to your smoothies and things, which we are going to do today. But moringa would be the highest in certain vitamins or minerals in, the, in that food category. Let's talk a little bit about baobab, these little white, um, almost dried pips inside. Um, and what we do is we take that powder um, into a, a nice fine powder form. And that baobab is very, very high in calcium. In fact, it's got three or four times the amount of calcium um, than, than milk. Cacao chocolate, in its purest, purest, raw, organic form, is a definite superfood, and yes, chocolate is good for you. This has been known to be more valuable than gold in, in ancient cultures, so a wonderful, wonderful superfood. Then, kale. Um, kale is, is a green, a dark, leafy green vegetable, somewhere between um, spinach and cabbage. Quite cruciferous, quite, quite a hardy veg, so one needs to break it down. It can be broken down um, in a blender, which we are going to do today in our smoothie, or it can be cut into really small pieces or torn um, into tiny little pieces and then, in fact, massaged with a little bit of citrus to break down um, that cellulose. And kale is extremely, extremely high in iron and protein, um, vitamin K, um, all different vitamins. It's such a wonderful, wonderful superfood. We all know spinach, um, wonderful dark green, green leafy vegetable, and also can be used um, in the smoothies. We also add that to our green juices, and obviously um, we know how to cook, cook spinach and use that. Then tamarind is also another wonderful um, superfood. Tamarind is a pod. Uh, and you use it in recipes to get that umami flavor. And tamarind is wonderful to add to, to dressings and it can be added to smoothies, but a beautiful, beautiful superfood. Then hibiscus. Hibiscus is a flower. Uh, just behind me here, I've got a beautiful hibiscus iced tea, which we've done for our customers today. We've added a little bit of honey, a little bit of lemon, and these wonderful, beautiful hibiscus flowers and uh, hibiscus is very high in resveratrol and resveratrol is known to, for longevity and to increase one's um, shelf life <laughs> and beautiful, beautiful superfood. So smoothies are so wonderful because you get fiber because you're gonna, you'll see we, we, we're using the kale and the spinach and so there's a lot of fiber in the smoothies which is good for gut health and um, for digestion and that but it's blended, so it's in a pre-digested form, so the body can really utilize all of those wonderful vitamins and minerals that you're going to be getting from the smoothie, especially when you're adding all these wonderful superfoods. So let's put a few pieces of frozen banana in there, but I'm going to put a few pieces of pineapple. It's our lovely little blender jug. Then to sweeten today, I'm gonna to use dates. These are also grown in Southern Africa. Uh, they come from a little bit further up, I think, northern, northern province. Then I'm going to take the kale. This is curly kale. This is black kale, cavallanero. And I'm just going to take it off the stem. It's not vital, but it's, it's better for, for the taste of the smoothie in case you don't blend that whole stem smooth. So I'm just going to put those leaves right in there. Then I'm going to take a little bit of the spinach and do the same thing. Take off that main, main stem. Then I've got this baobab powder. Looks like a white powder, so again, that was very high in calcium. I'm just gonna put about a teaspoon and a half in there. Then we've got the cacao powder. So this is gonna be a bit of a chocolatey drink. So let's not hold back on the chocolate. Let's do two heaped teaspoons of the chocolate. 
Then we've got the moringa. We don't want to overdo the moringa. We only want about a half a teaspoon of the moringa because it does have um, diuretic effects if you have too much and we don't want that today. Then we've got some almonds. You can use any raw nuts or seeds um, as a little bit of a fat in your smoothie. So our almonds have been sprouted. What I mean by that is the almonds have been soaked in water overnight just to release the enzyme inhibitors that the nuts um, have inside of them. And then they've been dried again in a dehydrator at low temperatures uh, to retain the enzymes so, and to activate the enzymes. So I'm going to put about a tablespoon and a half of almonds in there. Then I'm going to put a little bit of mesquite. I haven't spoken about mesquite yet either. Mesquite is white carob, and that also grows in South Africa. Okay, so now I've got everything in my blender jug. I do need a little bit of liquid, but look how beautiful that looks. So I'm going to add a little bit of our hibiscus tea just to get the, that blender jug going. And just let that go for a minute or so. So here we have it, a beautiful chocolatey superfood smoothie. Wonderful way to start your morning. Very cleansing, protein rich, mineral rich, and just totally delicious. We're right here at the Leafy Green restaurant. What better way to spend your money than on African superfood? Absolutely. Supporting local and enjoying. Great.